In today's video, I'm going to be playing some more of uh, the Jace deck that I showcased the other day. I just had a lot of fun with it. Um, if you join the channel since then, we are basically running cards with this uh, high defense stat. Um, when you summon it, it makes a copy, so you get another 0-3, which is good, because when you attack with three or more things, Gideon comes out and uh, swings as a 4-4. And so we're running this, and we are running uh, Thraven Sentry, which is another 0-3, but this, it doesn't it copy itself, but it has armor. And then we use uh, Paragon of Balance. It sets the power of all uh, of uh, all creatures to their health. So then you basically make um, these 3-3s, three and you make this a 3-3 three three with armor, and you get the idea. Um, I combined it with a bunch of uh, flyers, so um, we've got Lingering Spirit, because you, know, you just have evasion while you attack, so you can proc Gideon easier. Uh, Fledgling Griff has uh, flying on your turn. Uh, Thalia is just a slot on the opponent. During your opponent's next turn, their spells cost two more. Uh, Silver Griffin just has a nice defense, so it doesn't die to Shock, doesn't die to Drain Blood, things like that. And then also with Paragon, it'll become a 3 3. Devoted Steed uh, just buffs your flyers or itself if you need to make a favorable trade. Frontline Paladin is a 2 drop 1 3 with armor, but again, with Paragon, it becomes a 2 drop 3 3 with armor. Uh, Chapelgeist is a 3-drop 2-3 three three that can become a 3-3. Three three. Um, Herald of the Host is uh, kind of like a cheeky little thing I'm doing, but 3-drop um, 2-2 two two with flying. Reduce the next angel you add to your hand by 2, and we have a couple angels that you know can just close the game for us. Um, Regna Redeemer, 3-drop three 3-1. Three flying prevent all damage uh, she would take during your turn, but... Um, you know, it's mostly just in there as a flyer that's, you know, aggressively statted. Uh, Gideon's Veteran 3-drop three 3-2 three with armor, so it can fight for the board and keep on attacking to proc Gideon. Uh, Martial Aerialist 3-drop 2-4 Flying Ward, just a sticky flyer that's hard to answer. Dungeon Geist 4-drop 2-2 two two Flying, debut stun an enemy creature for as long as this remains in the arena. So it's basically uh, removal on a body, so you can just like ignore what they're doing and keep attacking. And then we are running the Avacyn Unsealed. After you summon a non-angel creature, transform to a random angel and heal yourself for one. So if um, I have drawn Herald of the Host, then it makes this only cost five. And likewise, if I draw this, it makes it only cost one. And Avacyn can just completely steal you games by high rolling uh, really powerful angels, but it's in there just as another uh, alternate win con if things aren't going the way you want it to go and then uh, we're of course running Oath of the Paladin so we can get the uh, Faithful Steed which is a one drop one two on debut gives a friendly creature plus zero plus one so you can even give itself plus one so it's a one three and then uh, like say you're going second you can summon Paragon and just have a one drop three three um, or if you don't want to do it immediately you know on turn two summon something else turn three uh, Paragon and you basically just have a one drop three three is really crazy and then divine smite deal damage to an enemy creature for each friendly creature So just uh, some guaranteed early removal and then finally the last level is or of courage spell for the rest of the game After a friendly creature attacks it gets plus one plus one. That's incredibly strong, especially if you have a deck full of flyers So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and let's get into it yeah, I wanted to play some more of this um, yeah. Super strong like aggro Gideon. I think it's super fun. Um, don't have enough gold for the event today because uh, I bought my pack and you know buy a try and buy a pack every day. So, That's but uh, I'm really glad this is in Jace. And so let's see if we can uh, pull this win together. Well, that looks pretty good to me. Now, if they have um, thing in the ice, I'm in trouble. That card's crazy. Thing in the ice is super crazy. It's an honor to face you. Let's go. What do you fight for? I am going first, which is nice. I will put Faithful Steed down first if I can. Excellent. You won't stand alone. <laughs> That with Paragon is really strong, and um, gives me my Divine Smite, so... Okay, I'm guessing there's a shock here now. If there is, I mean, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. Okay, there's probably a shock. He's just not using it yet, as he should not. So, take one from the best boy. 
Frontline Paladin. Hmm. I don't know, it looks a lot better blue than it does on the other card that's pink. Doesn't look too bad. I kind of wish it was like a little bit longer and it wouldn't look so like axy speary. Like it just it looks too short to be real. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. So now he's gonna play something else. If he goes on the defense, I'm in big trouble. That really helps. I'm very glad. Um, that's a thing. Um, it is, well, maybe not very glad because, um, if I switch them, he'll be a 3-5. So. Goodness, I don't know how I'm supposed to win. Like, that is enough of a roadblock for me. Maybe I need to add some Path of Exiles. Like, I, I literally can't play Paragon now, so... Together, yeah, that card's a face. huge problem. Yeah, that's just a huge problem. It's way too big of a roadblock for me. He doesn't have a lot left, I just don't know how it matters, because I can literally never answer this. I love that sound effect, though. A Geist could be something that could stun it, maybe, for a little bit, but if this gives him, like, an unsummon or... <laughs> excuse me, a shock, anything like that, um... Drain blood, like this could give him outs to it, so. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, just forgot to press end, I guess. Um. Yeah, I just have no idea how I could possibly win this game without the uh, Geist. And I really don't think it would be around for long. Oh yeah, grudge match is just Run them down. It's brutal. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in this entire deck besides the guys that can slow him down. This card's really crazy at three costing. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, there's no way he doesn't have an answer for Geist after doing three different things. Oh my. Relentless. Well, that is quite the... Oh, Ward. Trample. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, so the double trample I lose uh, right there. Oh, I was hoping, honestly, you kicked me out and gave me a draw. <laughs> I can make it a 11-13. Uh, Just like old times. Remember. All right, we got in one damage. Well, this did not go well. sacrifice you. Alright, so that went very badly. <laughs> I want to see if, um, I want to play a few more games before I decide if I need to add some more removal or not. <sighs> Another Jace. Uh, maybe we can get it. Maybe we can get it. It really depends if they see Alarm Bell, right? Like, if I was the Jace player, I would just mull for it, so... 
Um, I'm gonna look for the combo because I think it's like the only way to stand a chance, really. Oh, well, I found the Let's combo, see what you have and in I can mind. go one, two. It's an honor to face. I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe. Listen to nature. It is not what I thought it was. Okay, what I can respect that. Fight for? No alarm bell. Let's see what makes you tick. Hello. May the best combatant win. Like I could have played this, but I'd honestly rather just Rouse the do this. <laughs> and just have a, a very formidable board off rip. Take heart, be strong. And now it's a uh, two two. Okay, alright. Have you tried turning okay. it off? Um, on I can give one of them plus one defense at least. So let's go ahead and do that. You won't stand alone. I'm just gonna give it to the paragon because um one of the fish could die either way, so. All right. We fight as one. <sighs> With me. Just like we practiced. Okay. Now let's play the one that doesn't die to, you know, infest and whatever else. Splash is green. I don't know what I'm worried about. What in green? I mean, now they played scepter too. So I don't know. Feels like they're just gonna take a lot of damage next turn, right? Oh, they could heal for a bunch here. <laughs> Three. Okay. I gotta kill him before the dinosaur comes down. Um, is this something I want to do right now? Like, kinda. Strike them down. Yeah, or of courage. Putting that in the deck is definitely the right play as well. Uh, so five, six, seventy-nine, two hundred twelve. <laughs> Just like we practiced. Okay. I'm just glad they're not playing the artifact, right? Like this is this is completely fine. Oh, that that's that's brutal. Um, four mana can't do it. I mean, I don't think they could with five either, but you know. Yeah, I'm expecting, you know, that your opponent has left the arena pretty soon here. And this is kind of what more we want to see, right? Not like a Mizia monstrosity that can just um, block us out the entire game, right? But, I mean, I could see a couple Path to Exiles just being good. I guess you could, like, Desperate Prayer for something. Oh, they're still running Maniac. They're just Thanks for the match. running it, I guess, in a, um... Well fought. You know, just not the best shell, right? We fight as one! With me! I mean, I guess it's, it's not the most broken uh, version of the deck, so... You know, it could have been a lot worse. Like, Alarm Bell would have made all this a lot harder, right? Excellent. Let's see how long we can avoid the Azorius Maniac Jace, right? Doo -doo -doo. I've barely been playing, um, well actually I haven't been playing Mythic outside of what you see on, I haven't been playing at all outside of what you guys have been seeing on the videos just waiting for December 9th, so every day I drop like 10-ish Mythic ranks at least. Just chilling. So, I wouldn't mind climbing just a little bit, but I'm not gonna hop on the ladder and actually play like just 
for the heck of it until December 9th, which is the third, right? Yeah. So six more days, so five more videos before, um, you know, hopefully everything gets fixed, right? The first, the first queue was so fast. I thought this one would be a lot faster, but, um, you know, it can take as long as it wants, as long as it doesn't give me J's. Cool. I'll take that. Um, this is going to be interesting. I'm kind of curious to see what their build is, right? Do, 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 do. I'm rooting for you to win it all. Yeah, and you're telling my opponent that too. Thank you, smooth. Um, lingering spirit dies to um, the blade thing. So I was about to say, if it's I draw this and face. Paragon, then I'm goaded. I'm gonna enjoy this. What do you fight for? Do I play Steed first if I draw it? Make your vow. Oh come on! You're running that. So that just blanks one of those. My home was Maybe fun. I can do it first. Like, he has to go closet and then immediately draw it and then play it, so. Oh no, he'll kill it anyway. So it doesn't Stand matter. Back, everyone. I'm crazy. <laughs> My home won't fall. Alright, let's keep one of them alive. You won't stand alone. One of the ones with armor alive. So, um, you know, he hasn't even played the one drop yet, so I don't have to worry about it. And then I can just um, Paragon, and things should be pretty groovy at that point. Do, 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 do. Not yeah. the personal. <laughs> I'm, I will 100% just take it. Um, Not bad. If he wants to use another mana later to get the armor off of here, that's totally fine with me. Alright, let's do this. Take heart, be strong. Um, yeah, and I can swing out because even if he blocks here, um, it'll kill itself at the start of his turn, so that's fine. We have the Avacyn backup plan. It'd be really, it'd be really nice to Avacyn and then get some stuff back that I can then transform. How interesting. Okay, he wants to blade it. He wants to blade it and omen this one. Okay, that makes sense. Time to move. I think you're just gonna take seven, right? No, you're going to give me... See, I thought, see, since he was going to omen this anyway, I thought he'd want to just take the damage. But he can't um, dagger and omen in the same turn, so... Um, he's definitely going to use cut down here. Yeah, definitely going to use cut down here. So, I'm probably going to get six more damage in. Which is nice. Yep. Nothing personal. There's no reason for me to Divine Smite this, it's not a threat. Um, I already have a blocker board anyway. And then we have Chapelgeist. And then whatever he summons this turn, I'm going to Divine Smite. Yeah, I'll just Divine Smite that. I really thought Omen, he was going to play the um, Ill Omen, but he might, he might not have drawn it. So um, that's just really good news for me. I'm probably gonna get rid of the sneak creature um, because it's not, it's you know basically guaranteed progression towards the next mission. Mm. Whereas I can block this with Chapel Guys right now. Do, do, do. I really hope I draw a one or two drop that I can play um, in tandem with Divine Smite. Right. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Um, I don't think I want to block. I think I'm actually going to Divine Smite that now. Yeah, I'm not going to block that. Because he's not going to get the mission proc anyway. 
So, I'll take it back. I'm gonna divine smite this. Strike them down. I think this is super worth it. Three damage is worth, uh, you know, summoning, bringing forth the Gideon, right? And if he wants to block, then that's great. Um, you know, that's less damage I'm taking. Yeah, I didn't think he would. Just like we practiced. Okay, and if I top deck Aura of Courage, I'm in super good shape. Now, he's gonna have Omen, and he's probably only gonna be able to play the Omen, so... Um, that's really bad Hellmouth trigger. Now, he could not Omen summon something and maybe, like, stun something, but... Four mana is just... You know... Not something you want to be looking at. Yep, that's fine. Not bad. And can't block. Uh, yeah. Very nice. Well. That's it. We fight as one. Very nice. Very smooth. Stay true. Yeah. I can see that coming. This egg is really fun. Excellent. Okay. And now it's um the guy that streams on Twitch that um like I said, he's always been nice, he's always been a respectful guy, he's pretty cool in Discord, but um, he just won't get off this deck, and um, uh, I don't really know what's impressive about it, if uh, you're playing the most broken deck the game's ever seen by a lot, and you're just constantly streaming it, but, you know. Um, I think I just need to get the combo. Um, Dolly is not much help right now. So let's just get the combo, because he can just um, use artifacts to uh, let's see what you have in mind. Draw through the deck anyway. It's an honor to face you. What do you fight for? And if he draws uh, alarm bell and gets crabs, then I can't even like attack with these at the beginning. So yeah, if it's alarm bell, I'm just 100% lost. Okay, yeah, I saw the the play. I was like, come on, man. I can go uh, this into uh, Veteran, which isn't too bad. Part of me thinks I should just play this and just start swinging. I think I should. And I just really hope that he doesn't have uh, Alarm Bell. Just don't have Alarm Bell, please. No Alarm Bell, pretty please. No Shock. Oh, you know what? I should have played this over this, because he could just get Shock. Okay, he didn't get a Shock. He drafted two of those instead. Seems... Seems reasonable. But yeah, that was a mistake, guys. I should have played this, because Scepter could have given him a lot more house for the spirit, even though this is, like, one more damage, which is what I was thinking about. Um, so I'm gonna play two more attackers. You won't stand alone. And I'm gonna put it on the fish, so that way, if he plays a crab, then um, I have two attackers that won't die to it. I was gonna say if you repulse. Problem then, solving is my specialty. Yeah. That's not good. Oh. Alright, so now I can go uh two, three to avoid my another repulse. And I'm just dreading the alarm bell. Whenever whenever the alarm bell happens, that's when I'm gonna start losing. Is this like Mystic Tome time? 
Or right, Wizard's Bulb book, I mean, yeah. Okay. So now it's me. It would be really satisfying to win this game. But we're I'm a very long way Just like accomplishing that. Alright, I'm gonna play this while Just he doesn't like have three man up. Remember your training. And I'm hoping oh I hope that hurts. And I'm hoping that um if he finally does play a creature, I can just divine smite and then continue to go face. Kill that. Unless he remands, but I'm still just gonna attack through it, right? There's the alarm bell. Ugh. So, another crab, I'm assuming. I only have one thing that dies to a crab, though, and it's dog. It's doggy boy. Yeah, this is so lame. The entire feel of the match completely changes after Alarm Bell gets played. Strike them down. Um Swing, swing, swing. I don't need to swing with these. If I swing with this. We actually, I should swing with this because um, he could block here, but then it means he takes three. Swinging with this literally doesn't mean nothing. So, yeah. We fight this is what one. we're doing now. If he blocks the dog, okay. Let's take an eight. I got this. Just like we practiced. My home won't fall. I'm playing that in case I top deck the. Um, you know, the buff. <laughs> yeah, he can't do it this turn. <sighs> I need to draw the buff everything. Yep. He's using it now so he can refuel and then bring it back for cheap. Pigment. Okay. Yep. Yikes. I don't know. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna make it. I really don't think I'm gonna do it. So many possibilities. Yeah, and now we can um, use the thing to bring back the extractor. He might play something beforehand, but that's the plan. Yeah, he's probably trying to find it. Yeah, I found it. He didn't already have it, and now he's doing this. Ten cards left, five mana. Eight cards left, four mana. You might even have another prayer at this point. It's taking a long time. He'll finish his turn before the timer gets done though. Yeah, just gonna click it and draw the two cards. Yeah, so he wins next turn, and I don't think I can kill him. He probably played another creature, right? Okay, he must have uh, like input all these inputs before, and then a one drop. I don't think this gets me there. That's sad. Yeah. It wouldn't matter what I did. 
<clears throat> so yeah, it just doesn't matter. Um, swinging with this does nothing, and so he'll have like two health one. left. <clears throat> oh no, he'll have full health because he can just uh, chump block. Yeah, he'll be at five. Yeah, see, that's how dumb the deck is, guys. <clears throat> can draw super well. Um, maybe not super well, but well enough. But yeah, Alarm Bell just breaks it. So. Just like we yeah, he's at five, and then he's just gonna draw out, so. You know, super fun, super cool strat. Laboratory yeah, guys, don't don't you feel like it was well deserved victory? I I, I just feel like I'm just uh, way worse as a player. Yeah. Uh, Blue mages unite. That's a cool name, but um, yeah, I just don't respect it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.